So, um, thank you all for joining us. It's been a, I think this panel needs no introduction. We've been fortunate to have everybody here. Uh, there's stalwarts in the content space. Um, as you know, Ramesh said earlier that it's, it's the world of content and this is the world of content. We've had, uh, you know, I think cumulatively over 60, 70 years of content creation development on this, on this panel and no better than you to, you know, talk about it just so that I bring in a little structure before we um, start. I think we will focus on, focus on uh, podcasts. What are the different types of podcasts? Um, there is audio drama or radio plays and knowledge-based um, drama uh, podcasts. What goes into the making of a successful podcast? Talent, writers, celebrities, etc. Um, thereafter, what do you do with that podcast? Where do you distribute it? And across today, there are a multitude of platforms where you can distribute your uh, podcast. And how do you monetize that? If it is monetizable and how? And, um, and the, basically the commercial viability of that. So just, I know I was talking to Mantra earlier and he's, he's a champion of the audio medium. So why don't we start with you, uh, Mantra? Sure thing. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, good afternoon and good evening to you all actually. Um, different kinds of podcasts, different kinds of uh, verticals within that medium you spoke about. Uh, uh, Exchange for Media, they, uh, they put up a post on LinkedIn uh, a couple of days back where they were announcing the panelists who's going to be there and all. The caption read, video didn't kill the radio star. And uh, I'd like to say think again. Uh, till a couple of years back, the word podcast was always associated with the audio medium. Sure. It's podcast. I mean, quite literally, the word clearly says it's that pod, the air pod that goes in your ears and you broadcast the audio podcast on it. Uh, when did it convert into a visual medium? I think very few people would be able to uh, pinpoint on that, you know. Uh, over the period of years, over, especially in the last, uh, I actually didn't want to miss out on a few things. That's why I, I put down stuff. Uh, कुछ टाइम पहले तक के लोग बोल रहे थे ना कि आई मीन रेडियो की लगी पड़ी है क्योंकि लोगों ने पॉडकास्ट सुनना शुरू कर दिया है अब पॉडकास्ट की लगी पड़ी है क्योंकि लोगों ने पॉडकास्ट सुनना नहीं देखना शुरू कर दिया है एंड आई मीन हाउ डिड इट हैपन एंड क्लियरली इट्स नॉट अ टेलीकास्ट इट्स अ पॉडकास्ट एंड podcast uh, podcast primarily became a rage in the west as you all may be aware is when uh, people who are used to long commutes when they were on the roads they would try they would want to listen to something which is non music jab music nahi sunna they want something that would enrich their life they would listen to an audio book they would listen to an audio drama they would listen to a podcast while driving their car while doing their household chores while uh, working out in the gym or while that morning walk where they did not have to look at a particular screen it this is a background music Medium. this is supposed to be with you as a companion but with this converting into a video podcast the entire fraternity has shifted we as audio producers are uh, right now on in doldrums i'll be very honest with you a lot of my friends uh, people who have started my, i've got my senior sitting right over here i've looked up to rajesh bhai for a very very long time what uh, automatic has been doing what ivm has been doing what amit doshi has done what tahil sahab has done has is set up the base for us but right now we are all in this situation ki yaar hum telecast bana rahe hain ek talk show bana rahe hain ek video show bana rahe hain ya hum ek jo audio show banaya karte the anuvapal and uh, kunal ke sath ke inke shows i am i was the oldest listener of it and i used to enjoy Thank so you. oldest listener when i sit around and listen to these two guys have fun now of course they have reels they have videos out there it's also great but the magic of listening cannot be compared to the magic of viewing you know so mantra can i please please so uh, i think that uh, as you can as you all probably know mantra is more fiery than i can ever hope to be <laughs> and also is very convincing but i think that the the only place where i would probably ask for you to pause a bit is that i think that the key strength of audio and the key strength of podcast is that 
many of the content formats that we never thought imaginable. Both of us come from an FM background. We would also sit on panels and complain about license fees and music rights and all of those for that for many years. And the f as c but we were at core content people. And the major frustration that we had was that people would say that how come we don't have anything like NPR in India? How come we don't have anything like BBC in India? And what podcast really does is that it allows you to have the NPR kind of programming, the BBC kind of programming. So between us, we have done true crime, we have done learning, we have done uh, 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 fiction, obviously, we have done like management ki paatshala, a show on Indian family businesses, a show on how the Gita can be applied to modern uh, uh, you know, uh, dilemmas and treated it as self-help. So there's like a why if you just go to Spotify, Audible and look for podcasts, you will find that there are more than 30, 40 different categories and hundreds of shows where very, very, very high quality content has been created. And yes, I think that there is a temporary hiccup. I would like to think of it as temporary because uh, I think that newer markets, uh, tend to latch on to whatever is easier, whatever is more convenient. And in some ways, video, uh, the omnipresence of YouTube, etc., etc., are is more convenient. But I think that if you look at it in the long run, and, and which is why I would, I would request Mantra to be patient, uh, I think the key strengths that the audio medium has, that the podcast medium has, I don't think two people sitting on a couch and talking exploits that even to 1%, to the extent of 1%. And therefore, I think that th this is a sort of a minor diversion in the journey and we continue to be very, very, very gung-ho about why the core strength of podcasting and the core strength of being able to bring this plurality of content will result in its long-term success. So I guess the, the point about video being valid and true, just staying with the kind of, you know, you mentioned different genres of podcasts, right? So from uh, self-help, finance, knowledge and learning, uh, business leadership, and then there is fiction, true crime, dramatized, uh, true fiction, etc. True fiction, etc. From a, for a, for a maker of a podcast, what is the genre that works well amongst audiences? What, what is your take on it? Uh, See, I think that at some level, I know this is not a satisfying answer, sure. but all genres work. Like Mantra sure has made some of the best fiction shows in India. I would like to think we have made some of the best non-fiction shows in India. Okay. Right. Yeah, sure that. But, but I think, it, it, so, so from that point of view, it just depends on what hypothesis you're working with. I think there is one hypothesis that says that India is a very entertainment driven market and therefore if you want audio to succeed, you create a OTT kind of an experience without the video. Mm. And I think some of the great shows have done that and done it successfully. In some cases, I think I've done it even better than some OTT shows, okay? Bhaskar Bose being one such example. Right. Uh, on the non-fiction side, the hypothesis is that uh, uh, again, young people in this country are very, very hungry for learning, for education, almost anything. How I can learn to speak better, how I can, you know, like, like one, one of the most successful shows that we did was called Management Ki Paachala, which is basically giving, did, it, it converted an MBA, actually converted an MBA curriculum into a serialized audio series. Hmm. So, and th so there is a great, like people literally lap this up. So almost anything, uh, but if you really look at, so if you come back to the point that I made earlier, which is that what is the core strength of audio? And therefore, what is the long tail of audio? I would say that anything that is in the area of learning, education, self-improvement, personal growth, those kind of genres tend to track very well. So essentially, if you're a subject matter expert on a particular, whatever the whatever your sub your strength is, you could you could then create that podcast, and that would be most authentic. Yeah, yeah, totally. 
Totally. I mean, and self-help, as uh, Thal Saab said, is uh, right on top. People want to be told how to live their life, how to live a better life. And that word section has definitely done well. Uh, mythology, for some reason, why works tremendously well. Almost the top five of any top ten podcasts would be the Gita Sar. Because in India, mythology is self-help. Yeah, for the young and restless. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all of them. Um, yeah. You know, jumping in, uh, the way, I mean, as a podcast producer, you know, as much as a creator, where we have many creators who we associate with and work with, we have a slightly different approach to answer your question, right? Sure. Our approach is a lot more driven by what we believe is, uh, for lack of a better word, trending or predicted to do well this quarter, this year. How this do you arrive at that prediction? Conversations, some analytics, and a little bit of hope and prayer. But, is there uh, enough? Is, but is there example, enough? Is so, there so enough very but here's metrics? a very interesting example. Uh, around six months back, and this is this is not going to be very funny, but yeah. but uh, we made money on this. So tell me about it. Me. Uh, we made a series of podcasts on IAS and JE uh. entrance exam question. It is the most boring. I mean, it's the worst content we made in terms of sheer quality of content, if you know what I mean, right? We literally took UPSC books and JE books and converted it. It got lapped up. Absolutely. Now, now, don't get me wrong, right? I mean, of course, my creators in my company are all obviously up in arms and are like, hum kya karne life mein and all that. <laughs> but on the other hand, it, it seems to be doing well. So, what, I'm, what, what I want to sort of emphasize here is that if you're a, if you're a creator with a genre sort of a, or a slant or a talent of a particular genre, I think you have to do what you have to do, mm. right? Nobody can tell you what to do. Got it. But so you just you are, do what you, you do. If you happen to be one step above that or can do that or have the ability to do that, you also want to associate with other creators who you can work with and say, look, you know, for this, this year, I want to do self-help, but you know, next year I predict the Ram Mandir being inaugurated and why therefore not? I will do three religious shows. Yep, why yep. is that mm. the wrong way to think, right? I mean, you could actually True do that. that. If, so you if, bring I have, if I have a series of podcasts scheduled for December when there are certain cricket shows, why not? Uh, it's a little bit of that. So I'm just trying to differentiate between creative and commercial and I think they can be married without really compromising beyond a point, right? Mm. Yeah. And I think there is one other factor and this doesn't necessarily work well for people who are trying to build larger organizations like Mantra and I, but because this is an individual creator-driven medium at some level right. and the barrier of entry is very low, right. you could pick a topic that you're interested in. So there's a fabulous show called The Desi Crime Podcast, right. which is basically one person, right. one person reading crime stories. Yeah. You can wake up one morning, decide you want to do that, or you could be talking about women's empowerment or... Yeah. You know, challenges no, no. of people. I think that's different from what Anurag is saying. What you're saying is that this, there's this individual or this girl who's really interested in Desi crime and she talks about it. No, no, Whereas no. He I'm, what I'm saying is you're asking, if I understand correctly, yeah. that what are, how do you decide which are the popular genres? Yes. I am saying that you may not even know a genre existed. Until you're so up. I think the problem with looking backwards is that you tend to do the same things again and again. Sure. Whereas going headlong into a new thing, you have the opportunity to find something that you've not done before. Sure, that's the and creative I think that's risk of doing anything. Low barrier, low entry barrier. You know, during the lockdown, you you'll be familiar. Podcast mics were not available on Amazon. They had mm. sold out. <laughs> That's right. Because yeah. literally everybody was doing a podcast. Right. And even the consumption went uh, through the Absolutely. roof. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the maximum episodes of Bhaskar Bose were heard during those days yeah. because naturally people were right. spending so much time and the screen so, fatigue had happened. So my point is that new genres that you just did not know existed. Because in FM, in television, we are, we are used to very structured structured ways of looking at John. Right. And you would have connoisseurs of every form of art. There is a friend of mine, Abhishek Saha, he's, a, he's an actor, Rajesh Bhai, you'd know him. He is, a, he speaks about boots, bread and coffee beans with such passion and he knows so much about it. I know this is a very niche uh, uh, subject to talk about, but he can speak about coffee and coffee connoisseurs for hours and hours. So he actually is developing a podcast with us saying, uh, Boots, bread and beans or something like that. Now imagine right, right. you'd have podcasts who talk about bikers, motorcyclists who talk about their engines, such specific genres, people who talk about art, people who talk about food. So it's a great space for almost anyone and everyone. Sure. Entry barrier being low for, for yeah. to create something like that. So just um, music <laughs> or sound design, 
being so critical to everything in the audio medium, right? I just want to move this conversation to Gaurav. And can you, can you talk about, you know, that and how, how, you know, how important that is and what sure, can you Sure, by do? the way, I was really happy hearing all of you speak because you all are the podcast gurus over here. Yeah. But uh, I think we, we see ourselves as an enabler, as Hooper. Uh, because music and sound design sort of plays a role in every kind of content that you create, right? And uh, I would say at one level, it's about customer retention and engagement, more so in the audio medium because uh, visual, you also are seeing something, but in audio, every single touch point that you want to activate in terms of highlighting the mood. So music plays a big role over there um, and so does sound effects. But the other area which we sort of keep telling our clients is the safety element of the content that you create. Which is where we see our company as literally like an insurance company, right? Like every, every track on Hooper, we've got about 12 and a half thousand tracks, which are all copyright safe. And today, you know, as Mantra said, uh, at one level, creators are syndicating and repurposing their content, right? So you create a content piece originally thinking, let's say I'm going to put it up on Spotify. But let's say a couple of months later, you sort of repurpose it into 30 seconders, you put it up on Snap, you put it up on YouTube and so on. And that's where music rights really come into play. So um, having copyright safe music is really important for your content. In podcasts also, a lot of the content that's created is brand funded. So nowadays it's looked upon as branded content. And again, if you've been following trends on YouTube, Insta, Snap, any music track that's used in branded content is taken extremely seriously by the rights holders, right? So we, we have seen, uh, especially in the audio medium. So when we launched, we actually thought we'll only go after the video medium, okay? And we killed it over there. Like today, whether it's Mintra, Marico, ZTV, two lakh content creators who use Hooper music in their videos, we're doing that. In the audio section, initially everybody said no. We went and met the podcast companies, we went and met audiobooks companies. Yaar, lehi nahi rahe log subscription. We were wondering, kyun nahi le rahe? And they used to say, nahi yaar, do log baith ke bas baat kar rahe, mujhe music nahi chahiye. Yeah, I am just using some stock music from somewhere. After a while, they all started coming and saying, nahi yaar, I have faced copyright issues. And boom, you know, Pocket FM today is the largest user in terms of volume at Hooper. HD Smartcast is a client. We've got dozens of podcasters, audiobooks creators, like, and as you rightly said, you know, crazy subjects. Like, let's say we've got 12 uh, in, in Bengal, there are these audiobooks create, creators who just make horror content, right? And they need music. There's pet care, there's health and fitness, travel, lifestyle. So I would say that music is playing a very important role. The awareness of using copyright safe music is increasing. The last part is the sound effects part of it. I think it's a mixed bag. Uh, there are a lot of people who love using sound effects. I think it enhances the emotion. I've also seen the the flip side where a lot of people believe that nah, my content is sacrosanct, I don't want that ting tung sound, you know. So I've seen both the sides. But the fact is that if you're going to repurpose your content, like let's say you've done a 30 minute chat or let's say we've chatted for 20 minutes and you're going to cut, you know, four exciting 30 second gems. One could be motivational, one could be comedy, one could be an emotional story. You will require music and sound in it. And I think that's the role we play. and the importance is just sort of increasing by the day in that space. Okay. And there's a great marriage uh, uh, between what we do, what uh, we at Eminem do and what Hooper does and because uh, we create audio fiction and audio fiction is nothing but the music and the sound effects and we also follow uh, banks and we've, uh, I should be definitely looping on Hooper right away. In, in fact, uh, my, I said, how come we've not uh, gone for this one? Because our life is music. Our life is the background music and the sound effect and we create, it's a, it's a blind man's television. We create pictures on an empty canvas and that, uh, that happens through the writers, the actors performing those scenes and the music and the sound effect that's right behind it. Talking about actors, right? Because... <coughs> I mean, I just want, I'm glad you're doing some of that. We also are actually starting to use sound effects. This could perhaps, I actually believe it is slightly newer. So, you know, some of our fiction shows which we're doing now huh. have immersive sound. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm actually finding it quite difficult to figure out how to do that. Technologically, yeah. nahi, it's also direction-wise, right? No, no, absolutely. So if a car is going up the hill, the, does the audio sound move from your left to absolutely. the right? Absolutely. So the panning. Above your head and go to the left. And therefore, if you're going round and round a hill, 
does the sound reflect it? You will see videos on or you know audio stuff on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Anurag bhai, so that's the binaural sound design. It that is a three-dimensional sound design. We at M and M we invested on binaural microphones to record our own folly. our own sound so effects so the start. products that we made for audible for spotify for uh, kuku all of the, the design that we use is specially sound effects so if you hear that door knock in the story nigel you'll be will be you'll flip over it the moment you're wearing those headphones you're sitting you're listening and there's a character that has entered in the scene and there's been a door knock i guarantee you you will get up and open your own door because the sound effect is so powerfully recorded you feel as if there's somebody outside your door so that's the power of folly that's the power of sound effects and how you can enhance a scene through music is exactly I, the way and I, i think it will become almost the norm very soon it is not the norm yet it is a specialized no. high end bilkul sir i i been following that and uh, by for the longest you know, period of time we do one workshop because a lot of creators they tell us that they often don't know how to use music and audio to the fullest yeah. so i think a lot of education is still needed where I'm glad how do you, you use that. these and i think that is an area which you know because audio based. fiction will remain the sto- ma Uh, right at the beginning we spoke about podcast nahi wo vodcast hai jo video pe ho raha hai please not let's not call it a podcast it's a vodcast i'm guilty to it also i run a channel called spot light home to the quirky's podcast but I, that's a peer pressure that we had to go through because video podcast aaya tha nahi to i would always i specialize in audio dramas and stuff agar main audio dramas ko video mein banaunga to main film maker nahi ban jaunga hmm. I create audio fiction. उसका पावर ऑडियो के अंदर है वो भास्कर बोस को किसी ने देखा नहीं है अभी तक के लोगों के जहन में वॉट जीतू राज सेड अफ्यू मिनट्स बैक वॉट ब्रजेश वॉज सेंग अफ्यू मिनट्स बैक इट इज द थिएटर ऑफ माइंड एंड दैट्स वेयर ऑडियो फिक्शन एक्सेल्स big kudos to what pocket fm is doing at this point of time in the last couple of weeks we've been hearing a lot about them uh, the conversation should actually move towards the next stage nikhil which is about use of ai in your audio books and audio fiction and everywhere else uh, pocket fm is in in fact uh, letting the listeners be a part of it also they generate user generated content banana start kar diya are you a storyteller give us your story are you a voice over artist give us your voice overs uh, what audible is doing non music audio digital entities is what we work in uh, i think spotify uh, for the longest period of time uh, ran a wonderful campaign with their audio fiction with bhaskar bose with i hear you's with uh, shanaya's and uh, what not did they create uh, their internal uh, policies might have shifted but uh, where they are losing out pocket is winning hmm. so okay so there are i mean there is commission content by True. spotify audible and the other larger platforms and then there is a podcast that you might make on your own sure now of course when it's commissioned you you make it and you can almost assure that it's profitable how do you ensure commercial viability anurag on something that you might make but you funded it yourself of course you however low your cost barrier and your entry barrier might be what is what is the way a podcast maker can go about trying to deliver some roi on his investment ye dukhti rat pe haath rakhiye aapne please sir i'd like to listen बहुत मुश्किल सवाल है वीडियो मॉडल बिकॉज यू कैन स्टिल मोनिटाइज थ्रू द यूट्यूब सी पी एम एक्सेट्रा सो एसेंशियली इफ यू आर मेकिंग अवर ओन कॉन्टेंट यू नीड टू हैव इट आई पी इज योर सो देर फॉर थियोरिटिकली यू कुड स्ट्रीम इट इन एज मेनी प्लेस एज यू विश in whatever formats as you wish right and therefore it makes sense for you to therefore put it on multiple platforms and hope that those platforms will pay you something now those True. that something right now is abysmally low and therefore i'm unfortunately they don't add up enough to a number which in my opinion uh, really incentivizes the decent or a good quality content doesn't incentivize good quality content creation it mm. incentivizes an individual content creator who's sitting all alone from putting one out but if you have to hire a small team and good use good sound design it's a struggle the cost goes up beyond what you will monetize uh, we have obviously we been i would say 25 to 30% of our content has found brand sponsorships mm. we haven't been however able to get media planner brand sponsorships i'm sorry to say because the because of measurements you know you just don't know how many streams and therefore you cannot sell on the cpms or xyz or Or the number of you know. So Nikhil, I can try and give you a more heartfelt answer to that question. No heartfelt, no. I, I, I <laughs> see. I personally don't like leaving my studio. Okay. The reason I'm here is that I'm hoping the advertising industry will step <laughs> forward 
and support some of these non-commissioned yeah, podcasts. It's absolutely heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So, yeah, that's why we are here. <laughs> but, but we've been successful on the brands. So basically, CSR yeah. and brand budget ko humne bought. No, no. So yeah. So some Lekin of. Lekin ham kabi bhi media budget, if I may put it that way, usko even for paaya. even for individuals, what you are saying, uh, just one back by kar rahe the ki what video ke zariye aap jo income kama rahe hain through YouTube or wherever else, the same format needs to apply in audio also. Right. If you want numbers, no, bhai. आपको कितने लोगों ने आपको कितने लोगों ने देखा आपके एक सिंगर ने एक गाना रिलीज किया तीन मिनट का उसको एक लाख लोगों ने सुना वन लाख का नंबर आया आपने एक पॉडकास्ट निकाला चालीस मिनट का उसको पचास हजार लोगों ने सुना हाफ द अमाउंट ऑफ नंबर्स हाँ लेकिन प... 40 मिनट का ऑडियो कंपेयर दैट टू तीन मिनट का ऑडियो मेरे चालीस मिनट के ऑडियो के अगर दो लिस्नर है और आपके एक गाने के दस लिस्नर है तो भी मेरा लिस्नर मेरे दो लिस्नर्स आपसे ज्यादा बिकॉज एंगेजमेंट टाइम एंगेजमेंट टाइम इज मच हाई माय माय सीरीज मिस्टर एक्स व्हिच इज अ सेल्फ फंडेड सीरीज क्या किया है कि वी बीन लाइक आई वाज यू नो बट इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल स्पेशली दे समबडी वांट्स टू नो हम लोग क्या किए वी फाउंड अ लॉट ऑफ आइडिया सो रिसेंटली वी पैकेज सिक्स पॉडकास्ट व्हिच जस्ट हैपेंड टू हैव फॉर एग्जांपल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस वुमेन सेंट्रिक थीम्स were women entrepreneurs there were some stories it just so happened to be women centric and it and it it was just that a particular brand was very very keen and they decided to sort of sponsor all six of them if you ask me they paid us around 10 times the money for making that podcast and therefore theoretically i made many other podcasts with the money they paid me that but but you know i didn't have to prove to them kitni streams hui itna views aaya because wahan pe alag बट अगर स्ट्रीम्स करनी पड़ती तो आपका प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है लिसंस जिस व्यूज के लिए पूरी दुनिया पागल हुए जा रही है उसी लिसंस के बलबूते पे सिमिलर फॉर्मेट विल बी अप्लाइड इनटू द ऑडियो फ्रेटर्निटी ऑल आई एम ऑल आई हैव सेज लाइक माय ब्रदरन ऑफ द ऑडियो कम्युनिटी लेंड मी योर इयर्स दिस इज द मीडियम बिलीव इन योर मीडियम बिलीव इन ऑडियो यू डोंट नीड टू पिगी बैक ऑन वीडियो प्रोडक्शंस जस्ट टू रन योर ऑडियो कंटेंट डोंट मेक इट इनटू अ स्पेस वेयर कि सर मेरे पास एक रेडियो कैंपेन उसके साथ में आपको 10000 वीडियोस दे रहा हूं साथ में ये रेडियो कैंपेन ले लो नो यूज द योर जस्ट ऑन दैट नोट आई हैव जस्ट टू पॉइंट्स वन इज दैट यू हैव स्पेशली अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑन द पैनल हैव यूज्ड हैव हैड सेलिब्रिटीज एक्टर्स अमिताभ बच्चन now you're doing wastelanders with marvel True. with saif karina and a whole yeah, you yeah. know what is when when the ad, when the platform is commissioning this and richa chadda ali fazal you know there's so much yeah, of, yeah. there has been some uh, you know yeah, that's why it is 2062 right, we produce so that very yeah very prominent film stars who've done a good job now the thing is that when they uh, does that work versus non celebrity when you talk about does it add up to the numbers have why why don't we see a season 2 for example so the reading is that has it not worked so that's that's so one so see the the thing is that that has it worked is a complicated uh, question to answer because the platform has different objectives when they make these demands sure. okay. okay left to us would we rather bring native talent on the show rather than a film star who's already doing 30 other things i think both of us will agree we would rather bring native talent and native talent has worked for us much i mean better, much like better super, far super. superior of course so there's Great. no question about no, it makes a difference ekil but so, uh, marvel but, has a series coming but, up but 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 if the if the platform says that they want to put up a billboard with mr bachchan's face on it we have no argument against it, that probably a brand campaign more than a of than course log aate hain right? aapki filmon ke andar jab bade naam rehte hain to log yeah. definitely aate hain so see we what we want is that for the medium should be able to operate without needing some crutches you know right. and i we think it can so agree and just the last question i have is that um, in an extremely cluttered environment with so many platforms and so many shows and the entry barrier being so low if i've made a podcast i often get told now you have to put more money to promote it because not only do you need to create it you need to now promote it and that costs you a lot more some like any pna on a movie 
So, any thoughts on that? I mean, uh, everybody is doing the same. You make a film, you'll have to do the yeah. same. You write a book, you'll have to do the same. And social media is uh, is a blessing in a disguise, actually. And people are doing that very, very even, comfortably. Even when the Star Plus shows had like 20 plus ratings, ratings uh, if you drove from South Bombay to Bandra, all the billboards would be either Star or Z or Sony. Yeah. So the idea. So you, you have, have to, to pay for shelf space as well you. because you and need to be on first scroll and. Podcasts, yeah. I mean, the P the PNA has to be in your personal PNL. I in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, promotions for the same will do. Celebrities will make a difference. They you, I mean, Ali Fazal and Rich Achar that did Virus 2062 Season 2 also came by for the Marvel's Wastelander series. Mr. Vijay Sheetji is sitting away here. He played Rocket the Raccoon from the Guardians of the Galaxy alongside Mr. Saif Ali Khan. It's a six-part series, been running for one and a half year. We did, we did DC Comics, Batman. So international collaborations, they are coming in. They know that audio fiction and audio books, these two sectors within the non-music digital audio platform will stay. Podcasts, I'm still believing that the shift from pod to vod is going to create a little bit of shackles. But as far as audio fiction is concerned, I see the success of Pocket. I see what Cuckoo is doing. I see what Audible is doing. It's good time for audio fiction in the future. Okay, before they send me another Time's Up note. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all. Thanks for this really enriching session. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank and you. Thank you so much. Thank you.